And happening now, health leaders are also investigating four deaths reported from a nursing home. We are told three of those deaths are related to Hurricane Ida. LDH tells us hundreds of nursing home residents were evacuated to a warehouse ahead of Hurricane Ida. Now the state health officials are questioning the safety of those patients following reports of multiple deaths in deplorable conditions. Our Jonah Gilmore joins us in, here in the studio. Now, Jonah, what were conditions like out there? Well, Tavarius and Carly, I can tell you from what I saw through a door, mattresses and medical equipment were on the ground with trash. It was a horrific scene. No family member wanted to see their loved one in, and now a criminal investigation could be on the way now that some of the people inside died. It's my mom, you know, in less than a year we lost two sisters and my dad and she with COVID. It just has it's just been a very tough year. Families of nursing home patients showed up to this facility frantic and in tears. I had no clue. I thought they were coming to a nursing home. Loretta Dewey and Bonnie Corinto were both inside Waterbury Company's warehouse, a shelter their family members call horrible. We just recently learned of these conditions and how they were being treated on floors. I was thinking they would have generators and backup stuff and their doctors and nurses and of course they would be taken care of. Not this. Tuesday, the Louisiana Department of Health got word that conditions were bad. When they attempted to inspect the place, they were kicked off the property. Obviously, they have an obligation, legal, moral, and otherwise, to always provide safe and adequate conditions for their residents as best they are able to do. According to Dr. Joe Cantor, four people died and more than a dozen are hospitalized. LDH confirming three of those deaths are storm related. There are just no words. Families say their loved ones should have never been in these conditions. I had no clue. And the people responsible should face consequences. I want us all to get together and find out where our loved ones are and make sure that they're taken care of. And quit paying the nursing homes that we just paid to be taken care of them that haven't done anything. Now, the patients were taken to several facilities throughout the state, including here in Baton Rouge at LSU. One of the family members I spoke with earlier tell me her mom was taken to Marksville and says she talked to her and believes she's now in good hands. Reporting in the studio tonight, Jonah Gilmore, NBC Local 33 News.